Welcome back to CHE205. In this video, I'll be talking about modified false position subroutine in VBA, which is part of homework two. And this is section 2.6 of the textbook on page 45 and 46. So in bisection method, if you recall, the way to solve for the root of a function was we start with two guess values such that the root resides between the two guess points and then at every iteration we find the midpoint then we replace either uh, the left or the right end with the midpoint depending on the condition we had to check now in false position we're going to improve that bisection method by replacing the midpoint by the point that uh, the connecting line between the two guess points crosses the x-axis. So imagine that I have x left and x right. Instead of getting the midpoint, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the two left and right endpoints and wherever this line crosses the x-axis that is going to be replaced that is going to be actually replacing the midpoint so this xm from now on is the crossing point of this line as opposed to the midpoint of xl and xr all right so here is the vba script this is example 2.6 of the text you can find the script on vba tab uh, for scripts. Okay, so I don't go too much to the details. Uh, the dimension, the dimension of the variables are defined in the first part. It's the declaration. Every variable we have to use, we need to say whether that is double or integer or anything else. So we have the left boundary, right boundary, the function evaluated at the left boundary, function at the right boundary, the crossing point function evaluated at the crossing point i is the loop counter i max is the maximum number of iteration uh, beyond which we're gonna uh, we're gonna say the uh, the routine actually didn't converge and uh, tolerance is where we can compare uh, whether the function is close to zero or not so that is the threshold and then we have two uh, variables or indicators uh, they indicate how many times we keep either uh, the uh, either the left or right boundaries so the methodology is as follows so we're going to write we're going to draw this crossing uh, line and then uh, we find the the crossing point then we, f we evaluate the function at the crossing point let's say in this case this height will be f of xm then if f of xm has the same sign of f of xr then we're going to replace uh, right boundary by xm if f of xm is negative which is not the case in this figure then we're going to replace xl by xm and uh, we iterate so every time we swap the left or right boundary um, by the crossing point we can have a counter and this counter actually tells us how many times we changed or we didn't change the left or right boundary okay so get back to the code all right so we're going to read the left uh, the left boundary or the right or the left boundary and the right boundary or the guess for the left boundary and the guess for the right boundary that is row two column two row two column three so this is row two column two is here column three is here all right, then we're gonna calculate f of xr and f of xl how we can uh, calculate them now we have a function we call the function we just feed in with the left and right boundary so the function is at the bottom here so this is the function this is tan x minus x minus 0.5 after we evaluate the function then we have the values we put them in these two cells which is column four and five and these are sitting in column four and five row two then we compare if x f of x right times f of x left is negative that means they have the same sign 
uh, I'm sorry, that means uh, uh, the root is between the two, so this is the this is the necessary condition. If x l times x right becomes positive, that means uh, the two boundaries have the same sign. That means they don't sandwich the root, which is uh, not the case. In that case, we uh, we have to uh, you know declare or put something on the screen that the two guess points are not good guesses. All right, so let's say that satisfies the condition we want then we have a while loop from here all the way to the bottom of this right here within this loop we change the left and right boundary or we replace left and right boundary by the midpoint at every iteration and the condition is uh, as long as both boundaries are bigger than the tolerance the function evaluated both boundaries are bigger than tolerance so this is the left boundary right boundary as long as they're bigger than tolerance we have to iterate and every iteration we find the xm using this equation which is in the text and the equation is the crossing point um, between this line and the x-axis and the x point is calculated or xm is calculated using equation 2.1 here all right and that is exactly what we have in here and then we evaluate the function at point xm we write the xm onto the spreadsheet column 6 and 7 here and here on the spreadsheet then we set the um, the indicator for the repetition of right boundary to zero we increase it by one if the mm, the crossing point and the right boundary have the same sign right and we're going to replace the right boundary by the by the crossing point and then we're going to reset the number of times the right boundary has been used we're going to reset it to zero and then we increase it by one because we just use it once if this condition doesn't satisfy means fx right times fxm is negative means fx left times fxm is positive in that case we replace the left boundary by xm we reset the number of repetition of the left boundary and then we increase it by we increase actually the the index for the right boundary by one because that means we are using we are keeping the right boundary we are changing the x boundary and the left boundary so that's why the index for the left boundary is, is set to zero the right boundary goes by one in the other case because we're using the right boundary we're replacing it by the crossing point uh, we set the indicator for the right boundary to zero we increase the left index by one all right by this point we have new x left or x right then we increase the counter uh, the counter i by one this i counter is to check whether we are still below the maximum number of iterations so remember we had an i max here that is the number of iteration and this i actually tracks that as long as i is less than i maximum where we have here then we iterate uh, otherwise actually we have the condition here as well in the while loop otherwise we're going to break the while loop all right, so at every iteration, we're going to write the new x left, the new x right, the fx, the new fxl, new fx right, and the indicator for how many times we repeat left or right boundary, or we kept them. All of them into the next row from column one all the way to column nine. From column row, sorry, column one all the way to column nine, we're going to write them in the second row. Okay? All right. So this is the while loop. It breaks if either fxl or fx right becomes less than tolerance or the maximum iteration is hit okay then if the maximum iteration is hit we're going to report that the number of iteration is is reached uh, or the maximum number num, maximum number of iteration is reached so there's no solution in that case otherwise we're going to write the solution which is going to be the crossing point okay uh, now in the in the initial uh, so when we have the initial guess to check if this check doesn't hold that means uh, fx right and fx left have the same sign then that means the root is not bracketed and we report this and ask the user to repeat it again all right so this is the code let's give it a try I uh, already plotted the curve so here's the curve this is 10x minus x minus 0.5 the root is somewhere close to 1, so I'm going to put maybe 0.5 and 1.5 as the initial uh, as initial guess value. So point 
1 and 1.55. All right, that's okay. 0.1 is somewhere here, 1.55 somewhere here, and those actually bracket the root. So this should be fine. Okay, I don't calculate the rest of it. The rest is calculated by the macro. So I'm going to go to the script here, go run and run it. So there you go. So it populates the x left, x right, f of x l, f of x right, x to x at the crossing point, the function at the crossing point, and how many times the left or right band are repeated. So this is fault position approach. And you see that for this specific case, the right boundary hasn't been changed all the way up to 100 iterations. And indeed, it didn't converge because maximum iteration has reached and solution that was not found. And you see that after 100 iteration, uh, we didn't change the right boundary and solution uh, was not found. So that is, that is the drawback of this false position. And that's why we wanted to do modified false position for the homework. So now, um, one way to do this is uh, in modified false position, we're gonna, every time one of the boundary is kept more than once, then we have to half the height of that boundary. And that's what it's done in this code, which I actually commented out. So this is what is supposed to be in modified false position. So every time the indicator for the repetition of right or left boundary is bigger than one, we're gonna half that that bound we're gonna we're gonna make the height of that boundary half. Okay, so in that case it, it actually facilitated the convergence. And you see that if I just comment out these three lines like so. Then within 100 iterations, actually it converges even faster than that. So the only change I did was I half the height if the repetition index is bigger than one. Here for the left and for the right boundary both. Okay, so let's go ahead, clean this up. So I'm going to clean it up from here to here, all the way to the bottom. And from here to here, all the way to the bottom. Clean it up, make sure nothing is here. Clean this up, go back up, and run the code again. So this time, you see that it converges in 14 steps. So compare this case to the case where we had 100 iterations and still didn't converge. Now this time it converges within 14 steps. And the reason is, as you can see, if the um, if the repeated index or uh, the repeating index of left and right boundary is bigger than one, we're going to make it half. So like in this case, we made it half. You see that the repeated index is bigger than one for right boundary. And if you look at the right boundary value, we made it half, again, half, again, half, 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 until we change the right boundary. Then the index becomes zero. And then from the next iteration, if we still keep the right boundary, make it half again, which you can see from here. Uh, let's see, now in this case, the right boundary, yes, yeah, so, well, in these two cases, we don't keep the right boundary. Well, maybe from here to here, we kept it one more one more time. So the, the height of it should be half from here to here. You see that? So this is half. This one is half of that. Okay. So this is how we can improve. This is called modified false position compared to false position where we didn't have the height of the left or the right boundary. Okay. So... Uh, Thanks all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, which would be part of homework two. Thanks a lot again.